Hey guys, Real Deal, Why Wizard Akins. I told you I was coming to you with more Ram covert action. Our Ram 1500 trucks, they've done a great job over the years of giving better options and more equipment and, and just better overall looks in the Ram lineup. So here we got two coverts for you, let's go. So two beautiful Ram 1500 covered editions, both on three and a half inch ready lift SST kits. My favorite kit personally, Brady show them the Ram, the silver Ram right there. So that Ram has just a level kit, the two inch level kit with 34s. That looks great. My favorite is the three and a half inch kit. The 34s on the level kit look great, but these 35s on a three and a half inch kit on this gen Ram is just a sweet spot to me. So let's dive right in. First, we have the tried and true gorgeous black Ram color. All that metallic flake in there. Look at that, just sparkles so nice. This, ha this paint has the diamond black metallic has more flake in it than the agate black from Ford. The Ford agate black is more of a, a little bit of subtlety of a little bit of bluish metallic in there, but this has a lot more metallic flake. It's my favorite black of the two, two color choices. So this is a Laramie truck, y'all. So we don't do a lot of Rams, much less a Laramie. So diving into uh, essentially like a Lariat truck, uh, but uh, as far as the Ram goes, their Laramie is their one of their best selling packages. So you've got LED headlights, uh, LED fogs, uh, iconic signature front end. So essentially prior year, the prior gen uh, had that uh, crosshair front grill. I love this grill. It's a, a really good refresh for them. You got signature LED lighting around. And let's go over here to this side, Bray, to show them the overall stance and setup. So such a very proportional fit there. We're three and a half inch lifted. SST kit from Ready Lift. We got 35, 12 and a half, 22. Nitto Ridge Grapplers. We got the Moto Metal MO 986 Siege Wheel Gloss Black to match the body color paint with uh, a little bit of milling in your rivets around the perimeter to tie in nicely with the chrome. So that wheel is 22 by 10. We got a plus 10 offset. So we're uh, sticking in nicely. No rubbing, no scrubbing, no trimming on this setup as well. So three and a half inch lift kit. 35s, zero issues, all about the offset. And that's what we're all about, y'all. So let's show them our mild to wild scale. Bray Bray, we got, uh, we're very conservative, y'all. We're not sticking out. We're not sticking out. On the Ram trucks, you got, they've got a little, nice little molding, small, minute fender flare, which helps uh, give you a little bit more coverage. So these tires stick in uh, very nicely. I like the proportional and stance of this. And you still got a 12 and a half inch wide wheel uh, or tire on a 10 wide wheel. So it's a, it's a good steel, stable, uh, wider platform to give you more confidence and better handling on the road. Just a safer overall setup. Let me know what you think about 22s and 35s on this kit. I think the balance is so, so nice. You know, you go up to a limited truck uh, on both platforms, you get 22 inch wheels. So wanted to complement this truck uh, being a Laramie with some 22s, y'all. You know, you can't lose with 22s. Um, so love this overall size and setup. The three and a half inch on 35s works so well. We added the Amp Research power deployable running boards. That's almost a must when you're going this high. We got the new WeatherTech floor mats. The Laramie, you get really nice creature comforts. Uh, you got a really nice contrasting leather there with some nice piping. And you have the big, nice touch screen here, which kind of got forward to jump on the bandwagon as far as the bigger screens. So this interior, you know, a lot can argue that it's uh, a better option than the Ford. So let me know what you think. Uh, I know if you're a diehard Ford guy, you're gonna say Ford, but uh, they are very, very com comparable and in competing interiors. So they've done a good job with this. It's just a blessing y'all to have Ram and Ford here at the dealership to sell. Uh, both great brands, both great vehicles. So we really are happy for that. Now out back y'all, we've got Aikens liner guaranteed for life. We got wheel well liners in the rear, out back. Did not do any paint work just because we like the nice contrast of the chrome and black accents on this package. So we think it works ever so nicely. Uh, tailgate assist, you've got the nice factory dual exhaust out the back. They got the molded bumpers out back to really fit that theme nicely. Uh, show them a mild to wild scale from the rear there. Just looks great. Love this truck. 
So now let's dive into uh, the Granite Crystal Bighorn beside us. All right, next up, we've got another 2021 Aikens Ram 1500 Bighorn Granite Crystal, very comparable to the carbonized gray and magnetic in the Ford scene. Love this color, that charcoal gray as I call it. Now Bighorn, you can tell some differences between the grill. So you've got chrome bars uh, on the top and lower portion on, on the Laramie and on the Bighorn, this is black top and bottom. Besides that, uh, it's essentially the same. This has housing headlights and over here you've got LED on the Laramie. A little bit slight differences throughout, but essentially not too bad at all as far as a good comparison there for us. So Granite Crystal looks so well. We're three and a half inch ready with SSST key on this one also. Let's go on the side showing the overall stance. So this truck is clean too, y'all. This, this is a jam up truck. I uh, love the Granite Crystal. And so both trucks being a chrome package truck, we wanted to complement both trucks with a gloss black wheel with some milling. So the milling uh, in the XD Grenade 2 really just accentuates and flows with the chrome accents and the front bumpers, uh, just all the, all the complementary aspects that make it a true uh, custom detailed covert package from us right here at Wild Wizard Aikens. So if the wheel was all black, it just wouldn't work well. So we want to do things the right way and that's what we're all about, the details. So uh, 20 by nine on this setup, actually a 20 by 10 setup, plus 10 as well. So our mild to wild scale, we are very similar uh, as the black truck. It sticks out ever so slightly more, um, just a sense, of, sense of because of the tire. So going to the tire. Now this has got me pretty excited y'all because we definitely have a competitor for the Nitto Ridge Grappler. And uh, this tire just hit the market, probably the first one on a dealership floor anywhere. So what I'm talking about is the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss All-Terrain. And now uh, we're gonna do a full review of this tire this coming week, so stay tuned for that. But the uh, Mickey Thompson Baja Boss AT. And they really, I mean, Mickey Thompson's told me specifically, they said, real deal, this tire, we're coming after the Ridge Grappler for this one. We, it's our number one selling tire, the Ridge Grappler, but this one's here to, here to compete. So uh, as far as the tire goes, you've got uh, asymmetrical tread patterns throughout. Uh, a nice uh, center stack that's a little bit tighter, and then you've got nice shoulder lugs on the outside and some stone ejectors as well. What my favorite part of this tire is the sidewall. The sidewall is very aggressive to be an all-terrain tire. Now this is not uh, in the segment of hybrid tire like the Ridge Grappler, uh, it's an all-terrain tire, but it's got a very aggressive sidewall pattern and a, a great tread. I've done put a few miles on it, about 15, and uh, rides very smooth and quiet. It's gonna be a good good tire. We're, we're excited to see what this tire does longevity-wise. So uh, coming on down, we've got Ant Research Power to Pull running boards on this one as well. On the big horn, you have cloth seating, and uh, you don't have the big screen. That, that is an option, but uh, the 8.4 screen is a great setup as well. This interior, like I said, they've done a great job with the refresh on these interiors. It's got WeatherTech floor mats front and rear. Let's back up Bray and show them a overall side shot stance. Man, that just looks so good, y'all. Like I said, a, a level truck looks great on the Ram uh, generation right here, but this three and a half inch kit is by far my favorite and this overall setup and proportion looks so great. 35, 12 and a half 20s, 20 by 10 XD Grenade 2 plus 10, a great setup. Zero trimming or rubbing on this one as well. Now out back, we've got Aikens liner guaranteed for life, and we added a, a undercover Ultraflex bed cover on this one, and a good look at the back back here. Very similar as far as your bumper setup, just you got a little bit different badging, Bighorn and Laramie, but they're both very similar in comparison between those two. So all in all, y'all, we have uh, Ram trucks that we like to do coverts on, and they pretty much sell very quickly too, so we know these two hopefully won't last very long. Um, if you are interested in Ram trucks, you gotta let me know. We will definitely bring you more custom builds. We've got a few uh, coming up as far as the heavy duty segment. We got a Carly Ram 2500 that I'm very excited about too. That's gonna be a special one. So if you are Ram followers and you see we're pretty much a lot of Ford videos, we're gonna come to you with more Mopar. So trying to take care of all of our, our fans and followers with uh, all mini custom builds right here at your source for everything auto. We got it going on because we're such a great dealership and we have the accessory store to complement it. And we've got our custom packages growing ever so fast. So thank you guys so much for watching our channel here on YouTube as well. Neil Shepard, they call me Real Deal because I love it guys. You gotta hit us up. Thanks so much.